Hey guys, welcome to the Cube Draft of 2018, and I'm your host, Lotus Petal, and I'm here with Golgari Signet. Welcome to the Academy! Do you take Academy here? It's a good time to take it. it. The first pick is the good time, that's the best time to take it. And I bet one of these comes back. There's also nothing else super exciting in this pack. Hey guys, uh, golf golf voice stipulation. I could see a golf I could see a golf voice stip, but doing it only through the draft portion. Again, doing that for three rounds and a draft is pretty exhausting. Um, I'm gonna take this Talarian Academy. I think it's. I don't think Imperial Seal is that good. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, that seems good. And then we're just gonna get past power, so it's fine. Well, we already opened power, so we're good. Is this power? It's pretty close. I'll consider that power, you nerd. Wow. Dak Faden. That's a good one. That is a good one, especially if we're <laughs> focusing on the artifactos. If there was ever a weekend for you to stream, it's this weekend. I'll be stuck at work all weekend, but able to... Nice. Let's do it. Conveniently enough, there's a, it's a good weekend to stream because there's a thing called the Vintage Cube. Vintage Cube. This is so surreal, right? Yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> Not down. What's that? Is that your foot? Yes. That was a loud squeaker. Squeak, squeak. Oh, squeak, squeak. Oh, toot, toot. Um... Impulsive research. That's reasonable. Mall Drifter is also good. Duretti is pretty good. You got a top, which is pretty good with Academy. I agree, but I hate top otherwise. Yeah, it's also not good if you don't have fetch lands. I think it's Drifter, Compulsive, or Duretti. All of which conveniently are blue red as well. I'm not super impressed with Duretti. I think you just do nothing. I like. Com I like. Mold Drifter research. or Compulsive? It's Compulsive. I think it's better. You think it's better than Drifter? I think so. You think it's better than Mold Drifter? <laughs> I'm fine with either one, honestly. Mold Drifter can hold a sword. I'm going to take Mold Drifter, man. We just passed the sword, though. Mold Drifter can hold that sword that we just passed. This deck is not looking like an Academy deck. Sphinx is Revelation, brah. Brah. Bra. It's probably Bra. Scalding Tarn, right? Seems pretty good here. Somebody touch my already. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Uh, the vintage cube isn't about vintage decks. It's not about cards that show up in vintage decks. It's just about having old cards. I do like Sphinx's Rev a lot. Hmm. Why do you have that clip? Well, because someone touched my spaghetti. <laughs> Seems obvious, Spencer. I don't know why you'd even ask that. I'm going to take Sword of Fire and Ice. It's one of my favorite swords. It's also an artifact. Seems like an easy pick. Alternatives like this, no. This, no. no Double no. white, no. I think Underground Sea is the only other reasonable pick in that part pack. Or Rev actually would likely come back, interestingly enough. Oh, there's a bargain. There's a there's a Yawgmoth's Vile bargain. Are we a bargain deck? I think every deck's a bargain deck, I guess. If you believe, yeah. Every deck's a bargain deck if you believe, Michael. Michael! Uh, we're not white, so I have no reason to take a balance. If I was taking an off-color card, I'd probably take Yawgmoth's Bargain and try to be Storm. But I'm probably just going to take this Chandra, right? Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. She's so expensive. I don't want to take hostage here because it's black. Like I don't have any reason to be a black. Hostage take is pretty good though. I think dual caster mage is fine, right? Let's just take bargain and hope storm goes goes full. Blast. Oh, can't I can't do that. Oh come on, man. There ain't enough storm cards here, man. I'm just taking Mammoth Jet. Yeah, you're right. And she's, also, I don't want to play. I, we, I drafted storm yesterday, and it's just so it's mentally draining. Ooh. Mm. If we get an artifact deck, though, boy. I'm. I feel like our artifact deck is really treading water here dude we're we're cutting all the artifacts is what we're doing so i wouldn't even worry about it one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> we're gonna get the we signature cut one artifact signature petals coming back it's gonna be just fine 
No, you think so, huh? I don't, but oh, I want to. Oh, you think so? I'm trying to keep it. We can also steal an artifact. That's very useful. That's true. I don't hate. I think all these cards are pretty sweet. So nailed it. They'd come back. This guy's also an artifact. Yeah. I think pedal's oh. a little more broken. Put the pedal to the metal. That's funny because it's an artifact. Yeah. God, you're so clever. This stream is nothing without you. Wow. I know. How have you how how have you gone on? I haven't. I should have been doing this every day since I got off work so early. It was only yesterday. You missed one day. Well, last week. Well, they didn't have cube up then. Oh. What's the pick here? Tangle wire. I guess. It's actually not terrible with Academy, right? I just I. I hate it. I hate it too. I hate. I hate the card so run. much. I almost. I don't want to play it. Like I just don't <laughs> like it. It's I don't, good. I just. I don't like I, what it does. Oh, top came back. Yeah, top's the pick. How's our how's our how's our academy deck looking now, bro? Still okay. Still okay. It wasn't okay before, so now it's looking okay. Looks okay. Yeah. It's okay. Take burst lightning. Sure. It's not Zergo. Could be Soulfire Grandmaster, just in case we get like Time Walker Ancestral. <laughs> I think that. The dream. Yeah, I think that that value is a lot higher. None of these cards are good for us. I'll take. No one's playing mono red. That vortex wield. I think this guy's playable. Sure. I mean, if they go like copy, if they go play something ridiculous, we could just copy it. You also could play wildfire. Oh, open to Lotus, boys. Uh, well, it's just, it's, just it's, the one you it's a shitty one, but it's uh, it's a Lotus nonetheless. Oh, look, Mox and a Lotus in the same pack. God, we Dang. we you we are the the luckiest. Is it Jace or Jace? Hmm, let me think about it. Okay, I'll allow it. I think it's Jace. Okay. <laughs> I think it's this one. I don't actually know which one's better. We don't have that I guess we have a couple spells to flash back. Okay, like one. I think it's this, this. Well, it's just this guy because we get to uh, play it on two, or is our three drops getting pretty, pretty clogged here? Could just take Lotus <laughs> or Chromox. Chromox is such a heavy price, though. I agree. Oh wow, that's really good for us. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't even think it's close. Baby Jace is greater than oldest Jace. That's true. Look at this guy. Every huh. time I play that guy, I get less and less impressed with him because I always draw one card and take one damage for a... So here's what I was thinking. Let's let's have a Demon Lock, Demon Lord Bells and Lock uh, analysis Discussion. here. So Muldrifter is a 2-2 two, two for 5. And it has flying. And you draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Demon Lord... Is a six six for six. So you're getting plus four plus four for one more mana, and he has trample. The very least you draw is one card. So you're drawing one card less, but you're getting plus four plus four and trample for one more mana. Alternatively, you can draw probably like up to four cards. I would imagine it's probably the max. Depends on your luck or skill. So I think like I think Demon Lord's being looked at incorrectly. I think it's Kiki Jiki. Is it not Kiki Jiki over Mystical Tutor? Like, what do we have for Mystical Tutor? Magma Jet, and that's literally it. Definitely not Mystical Tutor. I'm yeah, it's definitely... I think it's Kiki Jiki, because there's a Pester 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 my Pester wheels, yeah. It's definitely card. Plus, Kiki Jiki's legendary, so it triggers Joyra, so does Jace Friend's Prodigy. Well, that's a big dude. That's a big dude, too. <laughs> All of our red-black decks, are, our red-blue our red -blue decks always do very well, surprisingly. Is it Karn? It's got to be Karn, right? Karn also triggers Joyra. It's true. In it to twin it. Yeah, we could take the Karn father. Yeah, it's definitely Karn. Flooded Strand. Sneak Attack. I don't think we're a sneak attack. We don't yet. have anything to sneak yet. Yeah, we have no, no sneakies. I like Fiery Confluence. Carter's wins games. It really does. Six damage is a lot. If you have seven mana, you can Fiery Confluence Dual Caster Mage it. 
12 damage. I think that's probably better than Flooded Strand here. Thank you. Yeah. Like Moo Trudy, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. This is always tempting just in case we get something. Yeah, but so sneak attack and we didn't take that, so. Just shut up. Is it Boros Signet? I mean, it's got red in it. Yeah, I do like Works Boros Academy. Signet. Helps us cast Kiki Jiki. It lets us splash Soul Fire if we get it. Ooh, Winter Orb. Can we be the Winter Orb deck? That feels really gross. <laughs> do we have a way to tap it? We can tap it on our turn with the Tangle Wire. Ooh. But that's passed on tap step, so it wouldn't actually work. Dang it. I like someone said orb and then someone said winter. When I say orb, you say winter. Orb. Winter. Orb. Winter. I like bonfire. <laughs> oh, we have top two. I actually think bonfire is cooler. Top and bonfire is a bit of a combo. Oh, electrolyze, flame tongue kavu? Chain lightning? It's gotta be electrolyze, right? Um, it says draw a card on it. Flintstone Kava is good, but I don't know how many creatures it actually kills. Like, I don't know, half of them, maybe. Probably less than that, right? If the Signet doesn't have any either of our colors, I'm probably not interested. LED is brown, you're right. I'm going to take Electrolyze. Little Jace came back? Welcome back. That's weird. Are we the only blue-red drafters at this table? I think so. <laughs> Certainly feels like it. Stormbolt Dragon. Storm Breath Dragon. I was a combination of Rift, Rift Bolt and Storm Breath Dragon. That guy wins games. He really does. And we don't have any five drops yet, so... Also false, we have two. Okay, well that's not many. Look, Bells and Lock came back. More like Bells and Schmack. I'm going to take the song. I'm going to take Grim Tutor. Bells and Schmock. Hmm. Also, it's nice that Electrolyze can kill Flame Tongue Kavu, so that's how you determine the power level of cards. You pit them against one another, and then you can figure oh, out which one's stronger. Yeah. Hmm. So, like, Manic Vandal is a stronger card than Black Lotus, for example. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, got him. He that is the first time you'll hear that sentence. He liked that one. What can you be whimpering about over there? You've gotten all you wanted. Here, I'll give you some more. I guess I'll just take Lingering Souls. Mountain versus Plains. Hmm. Necrotol? I'm on the side of mountains. Dramoka? We did not get any cards for these last picks. Yargle doesn't die to Doomblade. Confirm good card, yeah. What up, China Bull? What up, Big Peeps? Okay. That's interesting. We got reflex we got now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad. Seven's a good amount. Also very good with Shira. Yeah, you're right. Also good with Academy. Did you guys know that in streaming culture, streamers showing one another the undersides of their chins is a sign of mutual respect and often conveys a desire for pizza? I did not know that. I think I know what I'm the picking underside here, Underside of your chin. Like that went like this. Hmm. That's interesting. I think so. I think he just made that. I, I'm gonna like be honest. I think he made the whole thing up. Yeah, like that. Except you're looking more towards the ceiling. Pretty sure it's metalworker, right? Yeah. I don't see anything else in the pack. It's very exciting. Ponder and Frosty are good. But metalworker, I think that's where you want to be when you got the, you know, you know the thing. Let's take the canal. I like Factor Fiction. Oh, there's a Factor Fiction. We'll cut Kiki Jiki when the time is right. We're not there yet. If we hit Deceiver Exarch in this pack or like uh, Zealous Conscripts, we're just going to play it. What did you say? What was your suggestion? I was going to say the canal, but then I didn't notice the Factor Fiction. How about that canal comes back? Plus, um, we're just two colors, so I'm okay with it. Oh, another pack. I'm bad. <laughs> Our deck wasn't done yet, buddy. Made you put up your chins like a couple of dummies. I guess you got us. 
He did, we did do that. He did get us. I think it's funny that the only sword we have is the one that is our colors. That's funny to me. That means we can't play it. Because it, it's protection from our whole deck. Yeah. If you have a sword Bad of... Bad luck. Fun, fun fact, if you have a sword of fire and ice and it gives protection from blue and white, or blue and uh, blue and red, you can't actually cast it with islands and mountains because it has protection from those colors, so... Everybody knows that. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Ooh, Teferi. I think it's just Fumarol, but... This is, this. I don't see a splash in that. Yeah, I don't see it either. That's a that's a good dude though. That guy won a vintage event, so good enough for vintage. Good enough for me. Is that true? Yes. Large Brandon, what's going on, buddy? <clears throat> oh, that's a good. This is a good planeswalker. Yeah. Okay. Good talk. Yeah, there's really nothing else in the pack. No, nah, this pack's pretty pretty doo doo. Look, we got that Emrakul if we hit the, through the breach. We do have to make a cut here, though. I'm I'm thinking Winter Orb. If we had a way to tap it down, I'd be all on board. But I ain't about that. I think it's only good if we draw Academy. Right, that's the if thing. We don't draw cat, because then that could be that could be our one land that we untap. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm that ambitious to hope we have enough mana with Academy and Metalworker. Because the problem is for those to both be good, um Metalworker wants the artifacts in hand, Academy wants them on board, so I don't think that's gonna work. I oh, mean we could have the tendrils and the bargain. Jeez. Uh it's pronounced bargle. And the bargle. Battle, 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 battle skull. We could take our Kiki Jiki for battle skull at this point. Uh, batter yeah. skull. I keep saying battle skull. You want to you want to battle with it? It makes sense. With that skull. Oh, 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 oh! I got a little excited, guys. I apologize. I'm pretty sure this is the pick. Sure seems like it. Well, G Willikers. You can probably cut bonfire. I agree with you. Though I dislike it. <coughs> well, Is Tinker in the cube? Lotus yes. Fiddle? Go on. We could play another card. You want to play 16 lands, though? 16 lands, one of them being pedal. 16 lands with a pedal and an academy? Yeah, I'd get behind that. It's just Lightning Bolt? I think so. What if we actually just didn't care about the artifacts at all? Let's play Blue-Red. Because we can take out Tangawire, a Metalworker, and Top... And just play better cards, I think. Maybe. Let's just see if you the best cards and we'll, it's lightning we'll bolt, figure right? it out. Yeah. It's lightning bolt. I'll tell you what it ain't. Jaggle pup. That's true. It could be plateau if we want to splash the white, but I don't think we're doing that. So I'm just going to take the lightning bolt. Is Gear Hulk oh, Gear Hulk right? seems gas. We have Cryptic Command, Factor Fission, Factor Fission, Fiery Confluence, lightning Electrolyze. Bolt. Yeah. Gear Hulk seems great. Wow, even these seem good. Glorybringer obviously seems like a better one. Is Glorybringer better than Stormbreath Dragon? Um, I don't know. Probably, and you just board in when the the dragon's better. Yeah, when they're playing the white. Oh, I like Days and Dire Fleet Daredevil here. Okay, our deck seems our deck seems sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna take out the, I'm gonna take the artifacts out that I don't think are great. Uh, I want to consider cutting the sword because we have six creatures. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's awkward. Uh, well, Batter Skull's a creature, so that's seven. Chandra makes creatures, that's... I'm going to take the Daredevil. The Dare Boy. You guys think it's Days? Yeah, I'm going to take Daredevil. I think Daredevil's better here. Yeah, we could use a body. I could use a body, body. <laughs> body, body. <laughs> let's, play, let's play that Magus of the Moon and be the dirtiest I kind of like time. that, actually. It's a creature, too. I kind of like that. I'm going to take this thing. Ooh, Colagon's Command. We could have the Burning of Zinni and the Wildfire. Hellrider is actually not terrible. I'll take that, dude. I think we play it. What do we play it over, though? This is 24 cards right here. Oh. 
I don't know. Actually, we could just play. We could play sixty. Oh, wait, did we cut the? We already cut them in the sideboard. All right. So this is eight creatures. It's not terrible. We could take out Joyra. How many things trigger Joyra? There's a bunch of triggers for Joyra though. It's also a body. Like this is still a pretty good amount. That's eleven cards that trigger Joyra. That's a good amount, and she also does carry a sword. I think Joyra is actually fine. Plus, I have yet to play Joyra in a deck, so I'd kind of like to know whether she's good or not. All right, what are we cutting? One card. Do we just cut pedal? Well, I was gonna play. I was gonna play sixteen lands in pedal. Yeah, pedal's good with Joyra, I guess. But is that the only thing it's good with? Is it just better to cut this and play 17 lands? Probably. Yeah, that's probably better. I mean, actually, instead of the Hellrider, I'd actually rather have Stormbreath Dragon if we were going to add a, a, another creature to the deck. But I don't know what we'd cut for it. You could play it over Jara. Well, then we're just cutting a creature for a creature. But it is a better creature. I think this deck seems fine. I don't think we play the academy now. We could no. I, we could cut one signet for a stormbreath dragon. We could cut the off color signet, especially because we have cryptic command. Um, like it's yeah. only synergy is with joy right now. True. Yeah, I think that's better. Let's do this. This deck looks sweet. It's nine ten, right? This is eight nine ten versus seven eight nine. Yeah, so nine ten. Uh, I don't like top that much now. Not without a couple fetchies. We have one fetch, but... Mm. I mean, if we want to play a bonfire, but I don't... It's just I'm real not, dirtily. Yeah, I, don't, I think this is just get better. <clears throat> Save it and continue. This deck was very strange because it was started out as an artifact deck, but now it turned into like a cool blue-red card advantage -y deck. It's so cool. I love it. Oh. It's basically like the coolest deck that I've ever seen. I don't actually understand how a deck could get this cool. Uh, I'll play first. Uh, this hand seems fine. This Karn is a little bit aggressive, but we got a deck fading. I'll discard. I'll pitch my Karn. Hopefully, on turn two they'll play a Mox, and on turn three we'll steal it with Dak. That would be cool. Or even if they play a Signet, I'm pretty sure we still play Dak, steal it. That'd be oh, sick. Oh, yeah. If they play any artifact now, we steal it. Give me it. Give oh, come it. on, come on, come on. Oh, oh. dang it. How are you going to have a two-mana spell that isn't a Signet in this cube? That's greedy. How rude. Well, I'll just still slam Dak here. Do we discard Karn? Oh, I like that we... Oh, wow, Mega of the Moon seems real good, actually. Ooh. I think one of them is Dual Caster Mage, because it's pretty far off. Really? Pretty far off from what, though? Dual Caster, you don't have to pay for the spell, you know. Oh, yeah, you just make a copy. I think it's right? still worse, but I just want to make sure we're clear on the... Card's it, pretty far off. It might just be Muldrifter, because we have, uh, we have card a lot of ways to draw cards. And we can always discard, like, lands here. I think Dragon could actually win us this game, so. Hopefully they... What if they tap out for an artifact? Like a like a Thran Dynamo or something? And then we go Magus to the... With a, with a dual land. Then we go Magus to the Moon, steal your artifact. That'd be sick, right? The only problem is... They right. just discarded the Helix. So... They probably have an answer to it. Maybe. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Still play it, I think. We could just play Joy right here. Hmm. You can this guy? Aiden first. Oof. Joy is drawing a lot of cards here. I think we actually discard Karn with this mana, unfortunately. Yeah. Karn boy. 
play Joyrick here? Or we could play Chandra plus mana and then play it next turn. We can discard Jace because it's just cards. And yeah. maybe Joy or even. Yeah. Let's see if this gets countered. <laughs> uh, nope. No cast. So if we draw a land, we can actually Karn, so that's pretty sweet. No glory, no cry. They discarded Chain Lightning. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, that's that's fine. Oh, that's a good one. Land. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, dang me a bit. We just got Magus of the Moon deck fade in here. That seems pretty strong. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Do we even loot here? Yeah. I kind of want to land, I guess. Discard you. I want all these cards. Karn. Yeah. No, actually, well, we can Karn next turn with the land. So three, four, five, six. So we can Karn, we can turn to Gurg, or we can Cryptic Command next turn, which is pretty good. So now they have Mountain, 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 Plains. That's pretty good. Wrath of God. Gideon of the Trials. Well, we get to resolve a Karn, so that's pretty good. More like Schmidian of the Useless. Schmidian of the U... That card's always impressive. Oh, he did. Who did? Not Gideon. I'm actually tempted to take away one of their planes. But we, guess we just exile the Gideon, right? Also, Chandra can ultimate next turn, which is pretty insane. I don't actually know how to deal with that. And a Karn, and a Dak. I have... A Force... Okay, well... I have a Concede button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's your boy Concede button. The best part of all these red creatures is that they all have haste. It's like haste, haste. These get haste. That's it. This guy's haste. This guy's haste. They all have haste. I guess we're just going to submit. I didn't really see anything we needed to board in. No, they didn't really do anything. They did nothing. They literally played Search for Azkanta. They put a Lightning Helix and a Chain Lightning in the graveyard. And they played a Gideon. And then they died. You died. But I came back. Well, that's unfortunate. Stronger than ever. He's weaker than ever. Maybe. He's basically the weakest person I've ever seen. Wow. He has a little baby body. <laughs> little baby muscles. I can't argue with you. I know. I'll never let you. You wanna play you wanna play red black tomorrow or do you wanna play uh green? Stompy boys? Yeah. Stompy boys good against red black? Because I feel like everyone's gonna be playing that. I don't know, man. What am I look like a magic historian? Well, historian wouldn't be the right right word to use there. Whatever. Um, it's called persist, Mike. Wait, what's called persist? His little baby body? Is that what it's called? Is that what, is that what persist is called? Look at this deck with two Multanis in it, man. I can't even handle it. That's spicy. That is a spicy meatball. I think you should play Muldrotha Value Town. <laughs> oh, I'm not opposed to playing a Soul Tide deck with Muldrotha in it. I'll keep this hand every single day of my life. Lowest pedal. Dang it. I took the lowest pedal out anyway, so it ain't even in the deck. Ain't even in the deck. Remember the time we got them with all of our, uh, with all their base, their non basics? What a bayou! What, the, what are you doing with your life? Get your life together.
Oh, seriously? It's rude. That is kind of rude. It's not even. It's not even polite. I'm gonna get an island. Hope you don't stifle it. They didn't. Whatever. Mine ramps me. Next turn I'll play the Chandra, and then you're basically dead. They can't win. Doing a little frog popping. Isn't Frog Poppin' that famous streamer? No. No. Oh. That's Soto Poppin'. Dang it. Dang it. Is that really good? Like, we could play Dak here. I think it's probably just better to play Signet and then play Chandra next turn. Because if we play Dak here with, with Mountain, we don't have a fourth land next turn. So, I'm just going to play that into this. Did they miss the land drop? No. Nah. Nah, B. Also, Chandra on with five mana into Karn is pretty good, so. Our opponent is a rude boy. You scratching your little mustache? Are you a little lip? You got a little lip scratch? Yeah, you got a little lip scratch. Lip scratching and it feels so good. Lip scratching, it's mildly pleasing. <laughs> it feels pretty average. I'll just play through Planeswalkers again and see if it... If they don't like it, you gotta. Okay. Commit. That's fine. I'll get it back. I was just gonna Chandra plus Magus of the Moon because they have two non basics in play, so. Put that island in there? Sure. Sure. You better get a basic. You better get a basic island with that. Or planes. They did. They saw what the rock was cooking. What is this? Oh, that's a good dude. The birdie boy. Hmm. God, I got hexproof. Next time we can glory bringer and shoot that thing. Shoot him in em. the face. Shoot him down. I'm going down, 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 down. So we can electrolyze, but we're gonna draw Chandra, so that doesn't do anything. Dak will die. Oh, it's non-dragon too. That's that's. Ugh. I didn't know it was non-dragon. Because it says it on Glorber. Dang. Four damage target. Not. How do you know it's non-dragon? Well, because it says it. You just gotta read the card, man. How else would I have known that? We can also play Magus here, and depending on what they do, um, sort them up next turn. Well, it's hexproof when it's untapped, yes, but it taps to attack and loses hexproof. So, it's tap to attack. Oh, they just flipped this and turned it into a mountain. That's pretty cool. You guys know that when Ojutai taps, he's not hexproof, right? <laughs> you guys know how Ojutai works, right? We cannot glory ringer and attack. Oh, we could have glory ringer and attack last turn just to attack. That's actually not bad, but I like keeping them off their their things no ojutai no cry boom 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 when it was nothing when it was nothing no chandra no cry why do you have all these counter spells two islands the perfect amount of islands for your Snapcaster commit. This is actually really frustrating. I'm frustrated. I think we're dead. It's not looking good, that's for sure. I guess we'll take one more hit. Sure. <clears throat> I'll take seven here. That's fine. God, Ojutai just getting whatever you want is so good. Look at the top three. That was a powerful ability. How many times are we casting the same Chandra? That is the question. Two red. 
Coalition Relic. That's pretty good. That should help you out. Ashiok. So long, Chandra. Dual Caster and Torrential Gear Hulk. Well, that's pretty good. And a Gideon. Okay, I think we got this. Why is Glory Bringer non dragon? That doesn't even make any sense. That's basically well, so nonsense. So you can't kill other Glory Bringers because that would be weird. Yeah, we're just going to scoop here. Alright, so Dragon Lord Ojita is the thing I kind of want to be able to deal with, but I don't think we have any extra special answers in the sideboard. So I'm just going to pass. Hope you don't get that dude, and uh, we can probably deal with it a little more efficiently on the play. So we'll see. Two of my favorite wrestlers faced off in SF5 at the E3s today. Xavier Woods and the New Day versus Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. Started off with Xavier versus Kenny, but they brought their squads. What is... I have no idea what any of the thing you just said. That's, Was that moon speak? I don't know, man. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. You know about the moon speak? What are you saying right now? What are you saying right now? I'm done with you. You're literally dead to me. You're dead to me. It's a good looking play, Matt. So is your stupid face. It wasn't a wrestling match. They were playing Street Fighter 3. Where's Mike? Where's Mike Mum? I don't know what that means. Swear on me, Mum. Swear on me, Mum. Uh, bonfire could be the, the, the trick. Maybe Bonfire is the trick. Xavier Woods is a professional wrestler. At <clears throat> you quoted The Rock. I asked if you're a wrestling fan and it snowballed from there. Xavier Woods is a professional wrestler and he's also a gamer and has a successful gaming YouTube channel called Up Up Down. Interesting. I didn't know any of this. Did you know any of this? No, I didn't know any of that. I mean, you tried to do the Mega Man song, but you kind of went off on a tangent there. Yeah, I kind of went into Castlevania for some reason. <laughs> well, I mean, it's because you're weirdo. Oh, this hand is interesting. I'm going to mulligan. Um... We got that magma jet though, man. We scry two, find a pl island, a pl island, pl island. Oh, this hand is nothing against like like this card and Chandra are just so bad in this hand. Yeah, I think this is better, especially if the, oh, there's a signet on top, signet on top one time. I like Joyra into Chandra. I'll keep it. They went to 6 2, so it's alright. It's even. Magus of the Moon? I'm going to keep that. <clears throat> that could be really good, depending on what their lands are. This is Mega Man. Do you know Mega Man? Do you know the Mega Man, the Mega Man, the Mega Man? Do you know the Mega Man who lives on Proton Blast Lane? Wow, that's he, his name. The street is named after his weapon? Yeah. That's crazy, dude. Just play a Shockland tapped. You know you want to. Just Shockland tapped. Okay, that's a plateau. Snapcaster into nothing. Dang it. Yes. Search. Sure. I'll cut you off the white. You are the weakest link. <clears throat> now we need lands. Any lands off the top, I will accept. I will accept multiple lands. I will accept single lands. All the single lands. All the single lands. If you want, then you should have tapped it for me. Wow, they just forced a will with... Oh, I guess we don't have to deal with this anymore. Cool. Oh. <clears throat> cool. I actually don't hate that. I was actually pretty reasonable. Land. Yes, we're so good at this game. 
Oh, that's nice, because now Chandra's going to trigger it. Batter Skull's going to trigger it. She's going to be so triggered. It's also very good art. Don't kill my... Never didn't have it. Give me a land so I can storm breath here. Just one land. Can Sharna still kill a Johnny? Or is that on no. Board? It doesn't redirect. It just deals it to the opponent now. They have two cards. Our hand is Shauna Batter Skull. That's actually pretty good. I wasn't sure because a lot of cards like have yeah. been ratted, So Because it says each opponent. <clears throat> oh, it says each opponent. Yeah, so there's yeah. no way to redirect it. A lot of the ones that say what single opponent, they now they say opponent or Planeswalker. Oh, this is non-dragon, so now we get to untap Chandra and kill this. Oh, I wonder if they realized it's non-dragon. Okay, that's fine. Boop. This has worked out perfectly for us. Stormbreath kills a Johnny. Chandra kills Glorybringer. They two for one with Magus of the Moon. And they have one card in hand. That's a good one. Hmm. One, two. Actually, we can add two. No, we can't keep up both. We're one shy. We can monstrous this. Make a seven, seven. Which is pretty good blocking here. It has pearl white, so yeah. Yeah, it's pretty insane, actually, as a blocker. Yeah, that force will seem bad, but they might have needed the white mana. Like, they might have just had no sources of white. <clears throat> I mean, we could also just exile the top card see if we can play it. But if it's, yeah. like, Karn, it's bad. That's, like, the only card that's bad, though, right? Yeah, I also kind of want to keep up Cryptic Command here. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> um, We lose Chandra, but this is real hard to deal with. We can also just put it on there and then leave it like that. So now it has pro white, pro blue, and pro red. Like, there's nothing their deck can do about this guy? Yep. Huh. I think we just pass. Yeah, I like passing here. That was a pretty insane hit. Mm. I don't like attacking because then we just lose Chandra. Okay. This guy's gone. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mm, we'll have to keep that up now. Don't be an oblivion ring. Oh, wow. That's brutal. That's obnoxious. I think we just play Batter Skull now. We can actually kill... We can kill this with Stormbreath Dragon's ability. With the sword, the sword ability, rather. That's a good one. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, we have enough mana to do everything. You need some blue mana. Oh, you're right. <laughs> the problem is we're just not dealing a ton of... Oh, boy. <laughs> They're going to give us four cards and split Moldrifter by itself. I think we still take the Moldrifter 100%. I agree with you. Pack one, Mox Ruby, pack two, Time Mock, pack three, Black Lotus. Yep. It's pretty good. Must be nice, as they say. They got Sphinx's Rev in hand. <sighs> we kill this. We can also just play Muldrifter to block here, which isn't terrible. I kind of like that. Also, if they Sphinx's Rev um, for like a lot, we can actually activate Stormbreath Dragon to deal them a bunch. Yeah, to deal them a bunch. We could also hope to hit Lightning Bolt, and then we could have two for 
Nope, we didn't. Okay, so. Also, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. So we can actually play this and equip it next turn. For like... <sighs> Alright, I think we're good. They're at 6. They go to 17. 16. Um, they can rev for 5. 100% blocking. So they gain 10, they go to 21 here, but we're not actually super concerned with that. This card is real hard to deal with, so. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. We can actually go land Jace and keep up ultimate mana for when they draw 5, they take another 6. Hmm. This is also a lot of damage. Yeah, can we just... I mean, we probably can't kill them. No, they're going to be too high life total. You can deal a lot, though. We can also play other Chandra and Jace and just keep Stormbirth Dragon back to block. There's a lot of things. What does Stormbreath do when he becomes monstrous? Uh, it deals them damage equal to the number of cards they have in their hand. So he gets plus three, plus three. So he becomes a nine, nine. And then they take damage equal to the number of cards. So they're probably going to draw five here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I hate that the, the Cryptic Command was put on the bottom because even if we hit Torrential Gear Hulk here, it's pretty bad. Thankfully, this is a game of three. We have a bunch of bunch of time uh he's not dead because of sync revelation we won't be able to deal enough since he gains life off it yeah they're gonna gain five so they're gonna go to 21 plus they're gonna wait until we attack so if we if we monstrous this they can just wait to draw their cards so they're gonna take one We could actually deal two with... Actually, we can just kill their Lyra. That's actually pretty good. Uh, why not batter spell and equip? Just because we're trying to get that... We're trying to play a long game here. And... Uh, I don't like putting all my eggs in this basket because it's not... I'll deal this to you. hey -o. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten mana. I think One we actually shot. just go Chandra Jace. How do you feel about that? Seems fine. I like it a little less because we didn't do it pre-combat. Why? Because the other because the other Chandra makes tokens that attack. Oh yeah, but now we're dealing three damage to everything, so we kill this. Oh, you want to do that? Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. She has that other ability. She does another thing. They have one card in hand, and we know it's Sphinx's relation. Okay. So actually everything should resolve here. Negative three. One, two, three. This guy should be fine. Yep. Little Jace. And in response, they're gonna Sphinx is Revelation, sure. They go up to seven cards. We have an onboard Stormbreath Dragon. So they literally have to draw Wrath here. And even if they do, we have three planeswalkers on board, so that should be fine. So we've used you, used you, used you, sure. Ardex you seems, go. Ardex seems sweet. We're just assuming you hit a Wrath here. So our Stormbirth Dragon's probably going to die. But then we actually, plus Chandra. Nope, there's the there's the double white. You can see him untap so you can retap the white correctly and kill the Stormbirth Dragon. Yep. Never don't have it. So you have to you have to live by the never don't have it lifestyle. Which is where they always have it. Treborechnol, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I probably butchered that, but... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Well, let's make these babies, and we'll keep up Dual Caster Mage and Fiery Confluence. Actually, Dual Caster Mage and Fiery Confluence is like 12,000 damage, so... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, they just die here. I think we just win the game. 
Yeah, they they were digging for a bolt, I guess, but it was pro red. They had to do it okay. They response. just they yeah. just lose. Seems good. All right. They did that wrong. Five, so. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's only ten damage, right? Yeah, I think they might have been digging for a bolt, but waited for the wrong trigger. Uh, oh well, our deck is sweet. Do we want to change anything? Did we change anything that was? Nah, I like our deck. I think it seems good. I'm a fan. <laughs> Twelve damage confluence seems pretty good. Wow, I can't. I'm trying to. It's it's funny how hard they had uh, the hard of a time they had dealing with that Stormbreath Dragon. It's okay, dude. I'm just a six six pro red, blue, and white. All of your colors. They basically had to find wrath. You know what I mean? They did, though. So, good for them. What was amplifying damage that turn? What do you mean? You mean, how was it 12? Um, it was because you have Fiery Confluence for 6, and then you dual caster mage your own Fiery Confluence to deal to double it and deal 8. Hey, Mike, how many Gigolos do you know? Couple. Couple. Hi, Deck. It's me, Frank. I'm a big fan. Hi, Deck. Hi, Deck. It's me. I'm a big fan. Oh, and... I hope they play an aggressive... Oh, boy. Gross. Oh! Hey, now. Oh, this could be good. Hey, now. Hey, now. Don't cheat those signets. Hey. How either of you thought about a cruise deal? No, no, I don't think so. Oh, they just don't have anything here? I think I thought they were gonna go batter scroll. I was gonna be like, yes. Don't dream it's a gigolo. Hey now. Don't dream hey it's a gigolo. Now. Gigolo to win. No beats, if you opened if you got a like a lotus, a mox, and a time walk in your deck and you need help to put it together. You're There's no amount of help that you need. <laughs> you truly are lost, my friend. Just play those three cards, and I think the rest will solve itself. Okay, so I want a Magma Jet here to hit a land. But I also don't because we have Dak, so... Don't counter it. Just don't. I don't want you to... Yes. Boop. Scoobity boop boop boop. Give right me the snoot. So they have two lands right now. Two Essentially two lands. It's pretty good. Mishra's factory. Glad we kept this magma jetu. I just played it though. I can't attack yet. Right. That's what I mean. But I mean, still get to. Oh, you're gonna kill your own. Wow. Well, I accept that. That's that's aggressive. Oh, that was a good draw. Hey, that's a good draw. The problem is I don't want to get rid of anything, but I do want to hit lands. So I think we can get rid of mold. Actually, that was a perfect land to hit. Um. Fire and Ice doesn't seem good against them. You could probably pitch that. Triggers her, though. Yeah. Actually, Batter Skull's pretty far off. Batter Skull's next turn. Yeah, pretty far off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I don't think... This thing is Moldrifter gets worse once we have Joyra. Moldrifter draws two, but both of these draw one. So I think all three of these draw one. I think it's actually Moldrifter and Fiery Confluence. This does... Okay. My God. Isn't Dak just a land drop? Yeah, we just hit a land. Your face is a land drop. Got him. Did you know? Hey, man, did you get paid? <laughs> How was it? How was that first paycheck you got there? It was all right. I'm definitely blocking your land here. I was actually very okay. I'm very okay with what just happened. We can actually play Chandra plus two her to sort of fire and ice and then draw two cards off of it. Seems juicy. Or we can just play Batter Skull. Nah, man. I like the other play better. Yeah, me too. Oh, God. Draw. Trigger. Trigger. Add two. Trigger. Hey, Mike, on a scale of one to Gigolo, how good is your job? Seven. Seventy Gigolos? I said seven. T Gigolos? Wow, that is a lot. No, I no, there's no E.T. 
There's no ETs? That's yeah, you, no there's ETs. no aliens at your job? They couldn't they're like, oh Joyro? I can't beat that. Woo! This deck is gas. Somebody call the come somebody call the fire department because this thing is on fire. It's terrible. Can you all afford your own tacos now? Well, considering streaming is my lifestyle, I can't actually afford anything without you people. That's uh that's just the way it works. Hey man, don't it's our taco scam. Don't dream it's We're over. We're running that taco scam. I just, I literally dream said I can't afford anything without them. Oh, uh, I don't think that was a crying voice, but it could have been close. Remember, kids, the taco fund is always up. What are you, the taco, yeah, the get taco. In, get in while you can. The Frank and Mike Taco Foundation is, uh, it's always accepting donations. What are we, I don't like this hand. It's terrible. This, this is, is worse. It's, it's worse, but it's like, yeah, I think you have to it's it too late. Fifty taco bits. Taco scam reveal unsub. Dang it, Michael! Don't give away our taco scam plans. Wow. Taco scam plans. I think I hate the fleet daredevil. These are some of my favorite, um, like red cards. The like the red cards that act like spells. Oh. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Deck fading off the top. Right now. You ruined it for everybody. Oh, I ruined it. I know. That's what I'm saying. Wow. I, I thank you for confirming. <laughs> I'm waiting to dual cast arrange whatever you play. It's probably going to be something that I can't dual cast arrange. Yep. Let's go to the next game. It just kills the land and we're dead. <laughs> Correct. Boy, that was, sure was fast. Jimmy? My name's not Jimmy. I think Mike's having a stroke. Your name is Jimmy. I'll keep this hand. Your name is Jimmy. Donate to have Mike get a faux hawk and tacos. That's true. You can donate In to that those order? things. Yeah, we can actually... I'll vlog the, the haircut, the faux hawk haircut. Why does it have to be a faux hawk? Can it just be a regular mohawk? Lightning Greaves. Because a faux hawk I could make right now with some gel. He can make it right now. Wasn't well, that? Huh. Have one delicious taco bug. Craig, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. Lodestone Golem? Lodestone Golem would be gas. Yes. Never. Never, ever, ever, McMever. 100 way too late confusion bits. It's okay. There's more confusion because of the bits, you see. I like this because they essentially have one land right now. And we're going to top deck a Chandra. Totally play a Batter Skull. That's fair. It's also very it good. No, they just played a... Okay. <laughs> Man, the tech. I don't... Got him. Did they? They have another? Oh, oh wow. Oh. That's scarier. Okay. Oh, uh, they can't equip it, though. One, activate... No, they can't, actually. For quite some time, actually. I would like to not draw any more lands, though. Because three cards to seven lands in the queue is pretty... That's really annoying. They also sort of fire nice against the red deck, which is really scary. Yep, that's also frustrating, because we can't do anything about it. But now they can't actually equip it with a sword, so that's actually... Pretty good for us. Yes. That's well, a good draw. That's what's known as a good draw. We can actually go to destroy artifact, destroy artifact, deal one to all creatures. I'm Seems gonna. Decent. I'm gonna do that. Destroy an artifact times two deals one damage to each creature cast. You. And you. That was actually insanely good. Boop, boop, boop. Three for one, yeah. All right. The old triple booper. Nice. <laughs> Fucking the value is so good. 
Oh, fantastic. Ooh. Literally just shardless agent into nothing. And now we get to Glorybringer and kill it. That seems good. Non-lands would be good, though. I know that was a timely fiery confluence, but... Boop. Just keep killing all those things. You got more gas? Come on, man. They have two cards. Stop playing things. Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. Sure. I accept that. Oh, another artifact. Sure. Oh, also not impressive. Hey, that's a good boy. Let's draw some cads. Actually, yeah, that's actually good. He actually, well, he doesn't survive because of the Mishra's factory, so we could actually wait a turn. I guess. Well, it's it's better with wait a turn because then we can actually exert and kill this guy. I don't even want to play a land though. One, two, three, four. Don't play land. Well, plus our land can block his land very well. Just pass. Actually, one, two, three. Yeah, you're right. Well. The problem is I want to play a land because I want to maximize the number of things we can do next turn. So one, two, three, and then we'll have three excess lands. So if we happen to draw like Batter Skull land, we can actually play Batter Skull and Dak Fade in the same turn. So I do want to play a land, but not... Because now we have at least one card to discard and we're going to draw three more cards from drawing for the turn. I wonder if we just trade with this and flip it. No, because we're going to just exert and, and kill it. This is me hoping they don't have anything. Yeah, that's nothing. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. Pretty sure we just won this game. Beautiful. So we are going to kill... We're going to exert and kill this thing first. When it has no targets. So three, Dacky, draw. Old wacky Dacky. One, two, three, four. Those seem better than lands. I agree. I'm just going to discard these two and play the Joyra. Our deck is sweet. So they have a top deck. Here comes top deck. Karn, even Karn doesn't do anything. Like they Karn to exile this. We still have Dak. We get to untap Glorybringer. And that's the end. All right. Would have drawn this for the turn. Could have played both of these. Drawn two more cards. <laughs> Woo! This deck is sweet. It has a hard time dealing with like broken stuff, like a turn three Karn or whatever, but... If you want to place any kind of like mid-game attrition battle, I feel like we, we, we're ahead there. You ready to three zero? Can we do it? Thinking about it. All right. Well, let me know when you let me know what you decide. What are you doing right now? You praying? Oh boy. God, he's so weird. I kind of like this hand. It's got a nice curve of weird creatures. It does have a nice curve of weird creatures that you're never gonna cast on curve. Unless they go like turn one. Uh, dark ritual or something. Oh god, they're gonna do something. Every deck has trouble dealing with turn three car and you psycho. Fair point. Fair point. I had not considered such a thing. Alright, we could use some more blue mana. I don't know if that's uh The double fetch lands. Look at the Sultai deck with Scalding Tarn, Bloodstained Mire in the graveyard. Aggressive. One time no Ashiok, please. Oh, thank goodness. I like it. I like when you use all your mana in such a way. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, like it. I, like it. I, like it. I guess we're just passing here. I don't think Daredevil's worth just blocking a Mystic Elf, so. He called the Elvish Mystic a Mystic Elf. I mean... 
kind of the same thing. My God, look at these lands. Where's our Magus of the Moon, dude? Oh my God. Let's draw Magus of the Moon and or Fiery Confluence here. Uh, both. I I said and or. So that's... That, okay. That literally, it. Yeah, good. that includes both. Well, we have some broken spell. We can copy it. That'd be sick if they entwine tooth and nail. <laughs> I... No, it wouldn't be. <laughs> well, then we get the dual caster mage. Yeah, and get what? Um, nothing that beats their stuff. Stormbreath dragon and how about they bribery and we copy it? That'd be sick. I agree with that. Yeah, because their 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 thing would be better. All right, we're really hoping for five fiery confluence here. Like, play, I think we have our best creature in our hand. Play so. two signets and uh, and let's draw fiery confluence. Okay. okay. You have a million mana already. What's what's the difference? What's a million and one mana among friends? Alright, I like that. Okay. Excuse me. Never. You're not gonna excuse me? No. He has first strike though? Who? The Dire Fleet Daredevil? I mean, that's true, but Hooray. That was a very random comment out of they have four cards in hand. I have to assume our our six cards are better than their four cards. They have eight mana. Okay, that's just a den protector because it always is. With nothing to get back. I mean, they'll probably get a land back, right? So we just Glorybringer kill it. Kind of like that. And then next turn we can Chandra and negative two their whole board. Yeah. Seems it's good. actually real good. I mean, they get to flip it up and get a land back, and we hope they just don't need that ninth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, they're going to have nine from the Awakening Zone anyway, so. Yep. To the surprise of no one. This is going to be sad when they go tooth and nail, though. Because then I wish, even if even if ours is not comparable with theirs, I'm still going to wish that we kept our, our tooth and nail up. Our dual caster mage up. And if we had a if we had a blue, we would probably just sit on cryptic command instead. So, but we did not. Shonder next turn. If they don't do anything, is going to be very very good. We just negative one it, and wipe their whole board. All right. So we know one of your lands is what. Yep. Here we go. It's definitely tooth and nail. Okay. You're a prime boy. I don't. That's not as bad. So bad. Not as bad. What did they get back? They got Black Meyer, so they have a Meyer in hand. So you have Meyer and one other card. Oh, Shell Dock Isle. Okay. Conveniently with 20 cards in the library. Well, no, they're putting three back. So it's 23, but still close. They get to draw a card and Primeval Titan next turn, so it's pretty much free next turn. Not the land we're looking for. We also get to draw a card off of this, which is pretty good. Does that steal anything? No. Can we make your Primeval Titan an artifact? All right, well, that is a thing. How do we deal with the 6-6? Six, six? I don't know, which is real sad. Torbergram, there is no stipulation going on right now. One sweaty vintage buck. I don't even... Is it sweaty because it's vintage? Either way, thanks so much, Kerwit. Really appreciate it, buddy. Always a pleasure. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> look, another one. And the Bloodstone. would definitely still kill us if they have one. Correct. Did you just text Chandra. Yeah, we're not gonna block for obvious reasons. So they get two lands out of the deck and they have twenty cards. I don't know, man. I like losing the Chandra and the creature in the same turn. I think that's pretty efficient. That's how we deal with the Primal Titan. 
figured it out. Yeah, but the Sheldock Isle is still a problem. I mean... Oh, we also get to draw from this. All right, that's pretty good. Hey, we finally hit it. So if we get to survive... It's okay, I'm hiding my Emrakul under this. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is what I'm thinking, actually. I guess we'll find out right now. Oh, uh, God, do I have an attack? I have no idea what could be under here. You definitely be... don't exert, but I think you attack. Well, I'm worried, like, if we if we exert and kill something, if they have, if this is, like, a crazy crater hoof or something. I guess they still have Hissing Quagmire. I'm just going to pass here. Do not like it. Ain't nobody ever want... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, it's not a crater hoof. They're doing it in a turn. That's fair. I guess it's just going to pop up in the... Okay, something irrelevant. Yay! Mox Jet on top. All right, cool. They always have the power. That's fine. So they're drawing Mox Jet, though, which is great because they have one card in hand. And they're not going to be able to draw anything that's on top. Oh, that's good. That's actually great for us because we can... Uh, if they play the Jet, we get to exile whatever's in their hand because they might forget. It's probably just a land, though. This is great. This guy's not not that great. I feel like as long as we untap, we're in pretty good shape here. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm at as well right now. We're going to also kill this with Glorbringer. So they have Jet and one other card. Considering they didn't play anything last turn, I have to assume... We, we have an island right here. There's literally an island right next to it in our hand. Come on, Axel. Get it together. Get it together. Unfortunately, you cannot cast the cards on the top of your library. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is it just Crater Hoof? Do they just have Crater Hoof in hand? Why, what took you so long? I man? don't understand. I'm literally so confused at why this took you this long. I had to think about it. Ooh. I don't understand. I'm super of course confused. It's the last card. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> so, what? 10, 21, 28. So we have to block 14. Nope, can't do it. That's. <sighs> Amazing. Wow. Like, why Why slow roll that? I have no idea why you would take that long to just literally slam. You have no other options. I have a Karn in hand. You have a Mox Jet in hand. Like, we're tapped out. A Karn on board, rather. Like, what in the earth, dude? Sure. Um, Bonfire seems pretty good against them. I was thinking that, too. Even if you do it for, like, one. Actually, we'll take out the Daredevil. That guy seems bad. Yeah, he's pretty terrible in the matchup. Any other cheap removal? No. Okay. I wonder if Wildfire is any good. Nah. Yeah, this is why I wanted to exert because, like, I'm, I, like I said, like if they happen to have Crater Hoof, like it's better. But I mean, it gets rid of five damage on board, right? So. They would have one less elf, uh, which would have been, everybody got one less. Plus, they would have gotten five less from the elf itself. So five, six, seven, eight. I guess they would got plus four, plus four instead of plus five, plus five. So it'd be four. They were talking with four six, guys, seven, so eight, it nine, would have been five, six, seven, eight. 12, 13, 14, 15, eight damage less. It would have been eighteen. So he still would have died. But then we wouldn't have had, yeah, we also wouldn't have had Glorbringer to block, so. Uh, yeah, I think he would still be dead. I'm going to keep this in because I think Megas of the Moon is actually insane. So is Jace and Electrolyze. Their, their deck is just a mishmash of. Uh, they don't want them on basics too, so. Right, that's what I mean. It's a mishmash of, of lands, and also they don't really have many removal spells, it seems like. Always a pleasure, Magic. Every single time. Always a pleasure. It never fails. Never fails. I've never played a miracle and drawn at an appropriate time. It doesn't happen. Hmm. 
That would be a miracle. You, oh, wow. Yeah, that guy's dead. He did. I say he did. Never. <laughs> Never resolving that. This guy's deck is good. Yeah, they were going for the turn three Primeval Titan, I'm sure. Always a pleasure, Magic Online Digital Objects. I'm a fan of your work. Sure. You got a brain maggot. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry about your brain maggot. Do, 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 do. Is there... Is it possible they miss a land drop here and they play a jet instead of their land drop? I mean, either way, we get to go Jace or Bonf or uh, Storm Jason to Stormbreath after that, so maybe that's good. Took the bonfire. Makes sense. That is the... Oh, we're definitely playing Megas here. That's unfortunate. Oh, <sighs> so even the best deck can't, uh, can't beat the crater hoof. I would say it might've been better to exile the card from his hand instead, but, uh, you know, prime people Titan on board is better than the crater hoof we don't know about. Lena we're off on top. How about a magma spray? How about a Chandra? No, we don't need Chandra yet. Oh, Lightning Bolt's good. So I can go Jace and Lightning Bolt this guy. I guess we can actually see what you draw, right? I wonder if... No, so we don't want Storm Breath because we want a Lightning Bolt. We could also Lightning Bolt this. Man, so many decisions. All right, that's pretty good. And your draw step. Harmonize. So, Elf. Harmonize. Did they miss a land drop last turn? Turn four? No. no. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to kill this just in case you have two lands and an Elf in hand. Ideally, we draw Cryptic Command and keep them off Harmonize, but... A Titan on board is worth two in the hoof. They do always say that. I've heard them say that a bunch of times. Make me feel some type of wet. Hey, look. A Den Protector. All right, so Elf is gone. You're going to draw Harmonize. on drawing it's not bad they can't actually activate den protector so this actually is probably the moment we act we we glory bring her into this the, this thing maybe we just kill the brain magnet yeah but then they just use this to get back any one of their cards they can also play four uh harmonize and then get back harmonize Plus, we have time to kill it to get back Brain Maggot. I just don't think we have to do it now. Jace does die, but then we get to eat this guy, so that seems good if they want to do that. I'm still, like, trying to get over that slow rolled crater hoof. Oh my god, Hunter. Like, we went over, like, ten different lines of play in our head, and we're like, alright, if we do this, we can do this, we can do this. If we if they do this, we can do this. And then, like, five minutes later, they're like, oh, crater hoof. And you're like, you have five guys in play. Colagon's command? Colagon's command would be good. Get back Den Protector from Megas the Moon. 
Mind Twist. Oh, well, we get to keep a Joyra. Was that Mind Twist for two? Interesting. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, we're both going to draw here. Oh my god, that's even better. It's pretty good. Yeah, we're just going to negative one here. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. All right, so they're not close to... I mean, isn't Den Protector so silly to be alone as a morph in the cube? Yeah, because you always know it's Den Protector. You're like, it's Den Protector. Cool. Chandra's pretty good there. Awakening Zone. Don't care about that. Bird. Don't care about that. I'm bird actually D. tempted to neg one again just to kill this bird. We can also bonfire for... I'd rather exert and kill the bird and then make two dudes and attack. I like that better. Puts them to one as well. But if you can just kill them with bonfire, I think they're dead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, you're right, actually. We'll just or we can just play Chandra and plus two her, so. Either way it works. Oh, they got a removal spell. No, oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess they're not dead. They're still pretty close. Go to five. Watch, oh, it's gonna be cryptic, man. We could have prevented all of this. No, okay. Okay, okay, man. Um, we can. Sh what does bonfire do? Two damage. I mean, that's basically dead, and we get to keep their bird off the board. We could also Chandra plus two. And also... Joyra. What are you saying? Well, I was going to say, killing the bird keeps them off tooth and on twine. Like, we haven't seen it, but I feel like there's a decent chance they have it. But, too late now. I don't think that wins them the game, though. Maybe it does, if they have, like, Blight Steel Colossus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bird makes nine. Oh, well. I mean, we can still Chandra kill it. Like, that's not out of the question. There you go. Done. And they could theoretically also have another land too. Well, we just they could just lose as well. I would love to splash this Kolagon's command, but we have no other mana that fixes anything. Nah, that's way too greed. Darfly Turtle. Oh, uh, dual custom range is also not that great. No. They just don't have anything for us. I wonder if Winter Orb is good here. Um not really, though. No, because they have a lot of, like, uh, creature accelerant. Are you just Boros Signet? Try to be faster. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I like it better than Hellrider or Kiki Jiki. All right. It's for all the mobbles. It's for all the marbles. Did you hear what I said? Your whole life is made of marbles. Your whole brain is full of marbles. It's true. Jeez. Wrecked him so bad. I'll be taking Mike to the hospital after this match for his... Because of his... Because I wrecked... Because of his rectum. His wrecked rectum. <laughs> <laughs> Could have went with Burns, but... You know. Yeah, but then I can't work in the way... The word rectum. So. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's uh Owen Wilson. There you go. Nailed it. Who's that guy with the funny nose? I can't remember his name. Wow. My name is Michael. I live in a garbage can. <laughs>
Michael. Pot me hood. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciated this hand is bad. Right? Yeah, we need somebody to interact early. This does not. It's only good if there only plays like a. What if we draw? Rock shit. What if we draw? Signet into land. That's real good, right? No. It's not if we draw Signet into land. No, because like we can't beat like we need to be able to beat an accelerant hand, and this deck this hand does not. This is way better. It's way better just because of the stupid lightning bolt. I want to bottom this. Stupid Wait. lightning bolt. Boo. Boo. I kind of just want to kill this. I think you do. What if they have Rafelos next turn, though? Hey, wait, wait, uh, what? What? Oh. What? Could have waited till the end of their turn. At the end of their turn? Yeah. Then they already get to use it. What if they have Awakening Zone? I played around Awakening Zone there because I was like, oh, you're just going to have turn two Awakening Zone, which is scarier. And Rafelos seems more rare because they don't seem like they have a ton of forest, which is kind of weird that they have Rafelos anyway. And then you went, <laughs> and I was like, I think he just had a stroke. Oh, there he is. It's your boy, Electrolyze. That's not an Electrolyze in any way, shape, or form. So well, now they get to go Primeval fun Titan. Game. So they have minimum four, five mana. What up, Slovakia? This is obviously a land Primeval Titan, right? Yes, if they have land, they're going to play Primeval Titan. Please don't take too long in doing this. This is really annoying if you do. <laughs> they could think we have a counter spell, so that's cool. It's real hard to actually have a we way. We've shown them any counter spells. Yeah, that's true. They didn't actually see Cryptic Command. Wow, now they have seven mana. They can play their own Karn right now. Totally fine. Accept that. Also, if we had dual caster mage in hand right now, G A S. This guy really needs to go. I mean, we really need a way to draw a card here. What do we have? Magma Jet. We have oh good, another four mana. No, three mana. Four mana. Yeah, four mana. Wow. All right. Bonfire. Please bonfire one time. Or Island, you know, whatever's closer. Anything would have been good that turn. There's no way you're not dead, right? <laughs> Bonfire would have been great. Um, Magma Spray, Magma Jet would have been great. Four Mana Chandra would have been great just to kill Rafelos or the Morph. Well, it's good to know if they have Crater Hoof for dead. So, that's fun. Um, all the guys get plus four, plus four, five, six, seven, eight. 4, 8, 12. Yes, it would be exactly lethal. Well, we'd go to, we'd go to negative 1. You ready? That's not it. Oh, wow. They played their land before they played that guy? Yeah, Amazing. It's, it's something. Okay, let's do bonfire again. One shy of the Chandra too to punish them really badly. Yeah, that would have been great. Negative negative three Chandra. Negative two Chandra even. Yeah. And they didn't flip this up. That's And I guess if they don't kill us this turn, we have Chandra negative two is good. Did we have a duel? No, we we took it out. What was our what was in our opening hand? Either way, two ones not terrible. I just had high hopes for this deck because I think it's very strong, but apparently, not. Your dominator draft helping a lot. I went, just got third place in our small tournament. That's awesome, dude! Congrats. Can Chandra? Can we have doubling season and have Chandra start with eight counters so that we can negative six it and kill everything on board? That would be sweet. Because right now they get to keep this 11 damage, which is, you know, pretty brutal. Plus their plants are a little scary. Well, negative four kills everything, thankfully. 
I don't know why you didn't get a fetch land there, though. Wow. Are we just dead here, actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we're just dead. We can block here, but I don't think that saves us, so. Okay, cool. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Check out my Patreon page. Check out my Twitch page. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Hit the bell. You know what to do. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.